everyone, it's Maxine from Sports and Wellbeing. So it's Friday lunchtime, we're all back at home, but it's sunny, so at least the sunshine is out, hence why we've got a nice shadow over here. So it's quite warm in here, um, I've got a little drink, so hopefully you have as well. I've cleared a nice space, uh, we're going to be doing some standing work first, so we're working on four sequences today. So if you've never done my class before and you've just joined us for the first time, you'll be able to pick it up and just follow it as we go through. If there's anything that you feel you can't do today, then I want you just to take it easy, take a little breather, I'll give you some little alternatives that you could try instead. Okay. So if we're all well and we're all ready and we've got lots of room, I want you to bring your feet into parallel and just have them about hip width apart. So just have a little look down to make sure that those toes are pointing forward. And then bring the hands down by your side. I want you to get your shoulders right up by your ears, and then I want you to roll them down your spine. Now, if I go sideways, I want you to see that the tailbone is drawing down, that we're not sticking our bottom out, we have it pulled it right underneath, it's got a fishing weight, but it's pulling it down to the floor. The crown of the head is being pulled towards the ceiling. You've got a little gap underneath your chin. I want you to breathe through this rib cage. I want you to think about what's happening with your lower belly. So I want you to think about just drawing your belly button towards your spine. Your rib cage stays still, your shoulders stay down. Two more nice breaths in and out where you're just maintaining that lovely tight band around you with the tailbone down, the crown of the head lifted. Give me one more lovely breath through this rib cage, and then we're just going to start the movement. So I want you to slowly breathe out, lift your palms to the ceiling, go up through the back of your legs, then turn your palms in and then come round in a half circle back onto the outside leg. So again, lift up through the calf muscles through the back of the leg, go all the way up, come into that little half circle, come around, so we're mobilising those shoulders. And again, so I want us to think about joint mobility through our class, come all around the side. So one more time, we're going to be putting some stretches in as well. Come all the way back down. Then I want you to take these shoulders. I want you to draw those shoulder blades together behind you. And I want you to slide them down that back. And again, draw those shoulder blades together. Slide those shoulders down that spine. Two more times. Think about squeezing a little orange between your shoulder blades. And then rolling the, the orange all the way down. Give me one more. All the way back. All the way down. Now take a little side bend. And then stack back up. Now just remember, we go sideways. Don't go forward. Imagine you're just in a sandwich between two pieces of glass. And you're just sliding to the side. And we're not going forward. One more. Lovely, well done. Now come into the centre, give me your hands, we're going to hold hands, release your right one and look over your right shoulder with your hips staying still. Come back in, keep those hips still, look over that left shoulder. Come back into centre. Two more, turn and look. Come back in. Beautiful, give me one more. Excellent. Now I want you to look down at your feet, I want you to roll down towards your toes, bend your knees if you need to, imagine you're lifting something heavy, and then roll all the way back up, nice and slow. Bring those shoulders down, tuck that chin in, draw in that belly button, come all the way down, 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 down. Imagine you're lifting something heavy, and go all the way back up. Bring in those shoulders down. We've got two more to finish off this little warm up, and then we're going to go straight into a standing sequence, pulling up through, 
lovely and tight through that lower belly, opening those shoulders. Give me one more, tap that chin, roll down. A nice tight belt around you and lift, come all the way back up. Now bring those shoulders down by your spine. We're coming into a nice first sequence. Stand up lovely and tall and as you breathe out, lift the leg, bring it back in. And again, lift the leg, bring it back in. So you've got a nice one leg lift to the side. Excellent. Now we're staying lovely and tall through this standing leg and we're keeping that posture. If it's easy, more challenging would be to take away the hands, come into a balance. Four of them. Three of them. Excellent. Two more. Our last one. I want you to hold it if you can. Let's see if we can bring those hands onto those hips. Stay there, go into a side kick for four, open up your hip, take that foot behind you. Be careful not to arch the back. For three, take it back, open that hip, two more. Hold it there, last one. Hold it there, come up, draw the ribs down and breathe for four. Three, two, hang in there, one more, come down, oh excellent, now just move those hips around as if you've got a hula hoop around you and come back round the other way, excellent, let's go lovely and tall, stand it up, exhale and lift into a one leg raise, stay really up tall through the body, drawing in that belly and if it's a little bit more of a challenge you require bring those hands by those ears and again super two last one take a pause bring those hands back hold those hips nice and still exhale side kick inhale open Exhale, side kick. Inhale, open. Give me two more. Breathe out. Breathe in. And again. Superb. Last four if you can. Or just take a breather. And again. Shh. Two more. Keeping that balance. You can do it. Give me one more. Hold it. Lift. Count to four, three, two, and one. Come down. Oh, take a little hula hoop. Circle around one way, circle around the other way. Fantastic. Now take a step out, take a step out. Turn out into a wide plie. I want you to sit down into a squat and then push back through those feet standing up. Push down into that squat. Pull up through the belly. Now keeping that back lovely and tall. The knees track out towards the toe. Breathe out, breathe in. Excellent. We've got four more keeping these shoulders down. For four of them. Challenging, hands up. Three of them. Two more. One more time, hold it here. We're coming into a little bit of mobility. Bring those hands back onto these legs. Now you keep those feet flat to the floor. Don't go forward, go side to side. So just using the mobility through the hip. For four, three, two, one, come to centre. Engage through the belly, come up. Excellent, go back down again, hold. You can stay here or you can take it a little bit further. Elbow one, elbow two. Belly tight, back nice and flat. Mobility side to side. Excellent, for four, three, two, 
one, center, one hand on the thigh, second hand, push up. Yes, bring those feet in. Well done, lovely big lift up through. So we're coming now into a hands and knees sequence. So you need a mat for that. Let's put our mat down. And as you come down, just come down onto one knee. Come down onto two knee. So we've now got the knees under the hips. And now I want us to put our hands right underneath those shoulders. So getting prepared for the hands and knees position. I want you to draw that tailbone under. Open up that spine, relax your feet. Now I want you to bring your shoulder blades together. And I want you to sag through the lumbar spine. Now I want you to find where it feels comfortable, somewhere between those two moves. So just draw that tailbone slightly. We lengthen, we open the shoulders. So there's our start position. From here, take away your right arm and put it on your left hip bone. Now lift up this left shoulder and remove the left toe all the way out behind you. Now engage through this belly, come into a nice swimming exercise working through the spine, taking away the hands, taking away the toe and bringing them back down together on the hip and on the floor. Four of them. Three of them. Stay nice and strong, up the body. Two of them. And then this is the last one, so I want you to hold it out there. Count to four and three, two and one. Then put that hand down, put that knee down. Take a sit back and take that chest down into that floor. Have a stretch through mid to up back. And then come back through. Take that tailbone, tuck it right under, come into that really extended cat stretch. And then I want you to bring the shoulder blades and take the tailbone up and just sag through that lumbar spine. Now somewhere between those two, find that center. Engage that belly, draw through the towel, open the shoulders, put the left hand on the left hip, on the right hip, sorry, take away the right toe. Lengthen that spine, lift the crown of that head. When you feel ready, they go away. You've got four of them. Two more. Excellent. Keep this right shoulder lifted. Got another four for me. Lengthen that spine. Lengthen, lift that toe. So lovely and strong for the belly. Two more. And our last one. Hold the leg, hold the arm. Count to four. Lift those shoulder blades. Breathe for that brick edge. Two more. And give me one more. Lovely. Come in, take that towel, sit back, take that chest down. Come back up. Now this time, I want you to bring that right foot in, take away this left leg. So you've opened that right side of that bottom. You push both shoulder blades to the ceiling and you lift that left toe up and down. Foot forward. Now I want you to squeeze this left side of that bum and imagine it's a balloon floating to the ceiling. Open up those shoulders. Squeeze that bottom. We've got four of them and three of them. We've opened up that right glute, we're working the left glute two more times. Then I want you to hold that left leg in the air. Give it a little squeeze for eight. A one, two, and three. 
four. And again, two, three, and hold. Then I want you to open into a V and draw that tailbone back and come lower into that floor with that chest. And then I want you to work it right and left with like a little shimmy from side to side. Then come back through, come back into parallel. Take away the right, turn the left toe inward. So you've opened up that left glute, yeah? We're going to work this other side. Are you ready? Lift those shoulder blades. So we've got right side working, shoulders lifted. We've opened up that left side of that glute. We're pulling in the belly. Lengthening the crown of the head, lifting those shoulder blades. It's floating to the ceiling, squeezing that bum. Two more. Now hold this one up. Squeeze in, tiny, tiny. Little squeezes, four more. Breathe. Two, three, four. Hold it. Last time, come down. Go into a wide turned up position with those knees. Now we're not going to go backwards, we're going to open through the hips at the front here. Hands move forward and then you press the hips towards the floor. You push through the shoulder blades, you pull up through the tummy and you've opened through the fronts of these hips, pulling in through the belly. So again, a little bit of mobility through the hip. Then I want you to come back and then I want you to come on to a side. Well done. So we've got a little side sequence. I want you to come all the way down onto the floor. Rest that head. We're going to take these legs, stack them one on top of the other. Draw in that belly and imagine we've got that lovely little gap underneath us so we've got the natural hollow. Now I want you to pick up that top leg and I want you to take it out to the side. I really want you to lift that out of that hip bone, hold it there. We're going to circle it four times. For four. Now remember, if you don't want to do a full circle, if you have any hip issues, make a letter D shape. So you don't do a full circle, you do a little letter D, only half a circle, yeah? Give me another four, give me another three, two more, one more time, excellent, now come back the other way, if you're finding this and you want a bigger challenge, Get this hand off the floor, put it by your ear, and make the circle a bit bigger. Excellent. Last four. Last three. Two more times. One more time. Take a hold here. From here, hand down. Take that underneath leg, extend it out, lift into a side bend four times. Lift that underneath rib, come down into the floor. And again, lift that underneath rib, breathe out. Come down. Lovely. And again, float those legs up to the ceiling and down. Float it up and down. Four of them. A little gap underneath that chin. Our final two, here we go. And then our last one. Hold it. Breathe. In and out. Good. Come down. On to the back. We'll do the other side in a minute. This is our last sequence here on our back. Bring those hands by those ears. Feel those shoulders sit back into that floor. 
close that rib cage, engage that lower belly. One leg stretch, lift the head and shoulders. Out across the floor with the leg. In the air, come back down. The left one, the hips stay still. Stay engaged through that belly button. Feel get back with that chin. Now if the head is starting to ache, link the fingers and let that head sink into those hands and bring those elbows and point them to the ceiling. That way you'll just take away the pressure off the shoulders and the pressure off the neck. Or you can stay out fingertips nice and wide, you choose. Two choices with the upper body. Last two. Last one. Coming in, hands down, shoulders down. Next one. Lifting that bottom, going down, touching the floor. And again, lifting that bottom, going down, touching that floor. Shoulders down for four, three, two more, one more. Beautiful. Hold it there. Hands down, flat to the floor. Finish off, up to a bridge. And down. And again, push through the heels, up to a bridge. And down. Give me two. Give me one. In, take a hug, close that lower back, lift up, opening up that spine, into that lovely curl, wonderful, rock forward, good work, come around, come down, legs stacked, little underneath rib lifted, Take this top leg out to the side, hold it there, hand on the floor, circle, breathe in and out, rest this head, little gap under that chin, two more, excellent, if this is easy, take away that hand, have more of a balance. Keep that lovely little gap underneath that last rib. Then give me two more. One more time. Hold it there, come back the other way. So again, remember, any hip issues, don't do the full circle, just do a little half a circle and make it small. Last four, stay lovely and tight through that lower belly. Last two, here we go. And the last one, I want you to hold it there. Feel that lovely belt muscle in. Are you ready? Hand down. Bottom leg extended, both legs out. Come into that lovely little side bend, exhaling up, inhaling down. Last four, last three, last two, and our last one. Excellent. Come down, roll onto your back, draw those legs in towards your chest. Close that lower back into the floor. So I'm going to move into a stretch section. So bring those feet together, hold on to those toes. 
Turn those knees out, relax through the shoulders. Open through the inside legs. Now lift and breathe out. Breathe in, go down. You keep going. Lift and breathe out. We're going to have a little look. Breathe in, keep going. I've got a message on my screen. Lift and breathe out. And again, breathe in. Two more. Lift and breathe out. And breathe in. Now give me one more time. Lift and breathe out. And breathe in. Coming back into centre. Taking one leg in, taking one leg out. So you're pressing through the straight leg, opening through the hip. Retracting back through the straight leg, back through the hip. And again, working on this mobility. Push through the straight leg. Excellent. Retract back up through. And give me one more time. Push through the straight leg. Retract back up. Bring it all the way in. Slide the other leg away. Push through the straight leg. Open up through the lumbar spine. Open up through the hip. Retract. Breathe out. Through that straight leg. Breathe in. And our final one. Through the straight leg, breathe out and breathe in, bring in. Circle around, loosen through the lumbar spine, go the other way, pop those toes down, keep those knees together. So we're going to take a little rock from side to side again, just loosening off through this lumbar spine. Very small, not too far. And then I want us to take the legs completely to one side, take the opposite arms to the other to the arms to the opposite side, and look towards those hands. Back into centre. Legs one way, arms the other, over you go. Centre, right leg in, head up, walk up and hold. Walk down, other leg in, walk up. And down into a rock to sit in. Come around. Take those legs into diamond. Shoulders down that spine. One arm up, one arm out. Press through that tailbone through the bottom. Come forward with a little half circle. Come up and look. Push through that bottom, hips down. Come round into that little half circle. Come up, lift through the pelvic floor. Hands come down, lifts go out. Hands come behind. Now bend one foot on the floor and lift through the hip and through the pelvis. Come back down. Take a slide, take a lift, reach up. Wonderful, come back down. Come through to hands, come through to knees. Take that lovely little tuck into that cat stretch. Tuck those toes under, lift those knees and press back into down dog. Now if it's a bit tight with those legs straight, I want you to bend one leg in, straighten one. Then switch to the other side. Now bend both and walk hands closer. So you get those heels down and you 
lift that through slowly, legs upward spine, bring those shoulders down, take a look up, reach up lovely and high, come down, take a lovely wrap into that nice C shape, bring those hands just on the bottom, Open that chest, hold it there. Excellent. Come back to me, take a nice breath in. And out. Take your little bow and take a big clap. Well done. So, excellent work for a Friday lunchtime. Any comments, any questions, just drop them down underneath and I will get in touch with you and I will see you on Tuesday. So any questions just drop them to Sport and Wellbeing. Have a look to see what we're running, why everything's going on in lockdown on the website and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye for now.